WKFPV asks, how come you have very low latency on analog 60 hertz goggles, but you need 100 or 120 FPS on digital to get about double that latency? Very good question, WKFPV. Um, because analog has almost no processing. So with analog, uh, if you've got a camera sensor, like if you've got a, a wide dynamic range sensor, the latency of the camera may be 15 to 30 or maybe even a little more milliseconds. But if you have a low latency analog camera that's not processing the image very much, the latency out of the camera could be a few milliseconds. In the video transmitter, it's literally not processing the signal at all. It's it's just like modulating it onto an RF baseband signal and transmitting it. Like so there's essentially zero delay through the video transmitter. Like obviously electrical signals always have some transmission latency. So we're talking picoseconds though, I would think. We're in the picoseconds range. Um the signal flies through the air. That's the same for analog versus digital. And it's received on the other end. And on the receive side, once again, with analog, there's essentially zero latency. It comes into the receiver. It goes into the screen and is output to the screen. But with digital, there's com computation. So the other thing is, so with digital, you take the signal off the camera and then you have to encode it. You know, typically H.264 or H.265 encoding. That is processor intensive and in in introduces some delay. Anytime you're doing compression, you you end up with delay because in order to compress the data, here, here ready, we're going to compress this data. Okay, let me make an analogy. Um, anytime you compress data, what you're doing is you're taking a block of data and you're replacing that repeats throughout the data and you're re replacing it with a smaller block of data. So. Um, the problem is that in order to compress the data, you need to know that there is a repeating block of data. And in order to know that, you need to get a big chunk of data in which you can see that the block of data repeats so that you can compress it. So if I start transmitting a frame of data, a video frame, you can't begin transmitting that until you've finished encoding it. And you can't begin encoding it until you have some of it. Whereas with analog and, and HD0, by the way, as soon as that video frame starts coming into the VTX, it just goes right out the other side. We're just retransmitting it. We're not processing it. We're not packaging it. It's like, here's, uh, here's an analogy that will kind of work. Let's say we've got a UPS truck and we want to fill it with boxes. And we want to fill it with as efficiently as possible. So if we just stuff boxes in it until we reach the back of the truck, oh, you can't go yet. Because what if a smaller box comes along that we could tuck in there? On the other hand, with HD0 and analog, we get one box, we put it in the truck, the truck leaves. Okay? So there's processing delay in digital video transmitters that compress the signal. And that adds delay. Uh, and these are, and then there's the same thing happens in reverse on on the receiver side, and this is why vid, digital inherently has higher latency than analog, except for HD zero, which doesn't use compression and is still digital. So maybe that statement's not quite accurate. Um, Captain Bry, I'm not sure that NV it, uh, Captain Bry says is joking and says, should we use an NVIDIA GPU on our VTX? I'm not convinced that would decrease latency. I don't know. The pipeline, the ability of an NVIDIA GPU to process massive amounts of, to perform a lot of computations in a short period of time doesn't necessarily mean it's going to have low enough latency to do an FPV system. Gaming also likes low latency, so maybe it does. But the power requirements of an NVIDIA GPU are a total, uh, total deal breaker. Um, Camel FPV, thanks for five pounds. I've got five quads with the FCC hack and 1200 milliwatts. 
but I'm going to build one with O3. If I update the firmware on my V2 goggles, do I lose my hacks? You do not. You, those hacks are preserved. You're good. Um... Iwandi, uh, you're right, Iwandi. That's, thank you for that correction. Uh, file compression, like zip compression, is looking for repeating blocks of data and removing them. Video compression, or, 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 or replacing them with shorter blocks. Video compression doesn't work like that. Uh, you're right. Um, it's analyzing and removing insignificant information. Uh, I, I'm suffice it to say I'm not an expert on H.264 compression, so uh, my analogy was uh, flawed. <laughs>